Hey guys, my name is Max, and welcome to my movie channel. It was about, I think, a week ago now, maybe 10 days, that I posted my opinion on Taurus Firearms video. And in the video, you guys might remember that I just purchased a Taurus TCP chambered in 380 ACP, and it was giving me problems. Basically, it was a great gun. The only problem is that it was jamming every single time when the magazine got to the very last bullet it would jam up and I just could not handle the frustration so basically what did I do I sold the gun and today I have a brand new gun one week later thank God Springfield XDS chambered in 45 ACP with a 3.3 inch barrel there you go and yeah guys I'm so much better off with the Springfield than a Taurus I will never buy a Taurus firearm again. And with that in mind, let's just go over some of the things that came in the box. This was a really good bargain. I purchased it used. Looks to be in great condition, except for a couple of scuffs, but I'm really not too upset about it. I got it for $3.99 plus tax, so really not a bad deal. And let me show you some of the stuff that came in the box along with the firearm. Alright guys, so here's the box for the Springfield XDS. Looks like a suitcase. You can padlock it right here if you would like. Um, pretty great box. Uh, now, out of all the guns I've ever purchased, this has the nicest box. Because look at that, it doesn't fall forward, it stays at a 90 degree angle open. Now here's everything that came in the box. Of course you have the firearm. Now, with one magazine inside, by the way, it holds five rounds of 45 ACP. So we have one standard flush fitting magazine included. We also have another five round magazine with a pinky extension so that this way you could get a better grip on it. Okay, so we have one of those. And we also have two of the seven round extended, if you want to call it extended magazine. And when you put those into the firearm, you wind up with a full uh, grip. So here's the other one, by the way. We also have a red fiber, goodness gracious, what do you call it? Fiber optic replacement. Uh, so here's the sight picture on this weapon. Pretty great. Now it is used, but those I got to clean up a little bit because they're supposed to be basically pure white. So that's what it looks like. Again, it's a really great pistol. We'll get more into the pistol in just a second. I do want to finish showing you everything else that came. Of course, we have the padlock. And here's another grip extension. If I were to buy another extended 7-round magazine, I could slip that on there. Now, with this gun, you're going to want to keep these extensions. You can slip them off. However, you have a slight possibility of over-inserting the magazine into the firearm, and that could cause a failure to feed if you do that. So that's why keeping these on there is very important. Now we also have the very first um, test round and it was shot on, goodness, March 23rd of 2013 and Springfield, there's the address. And yeah, pretty cool. It also comes with a holster for the firearm. It's a paddle holster. Now and you can adjust the tension with that hex screw right there. I, however, already purchased another holster. I'll roll in a picture of the holster that I purchased right now. Yes, I did buy a teal holster. Honestly, I don't care. Um, I like the color and I don't want to be tactical 100% of the time. <laughs> And it does come also, the last thing I'll show you, with a two magazine holster. So pretty much this goes on the other side of your belt. Of course you would have a loaded up magazine. Fit one in there and one in there. Alright guys, so that's everything that came in the... Oh, actually no it's not. And then you have a back strap that you can replace if that one doesn't fit very well. Now that's everything that came in the box. Let me show you a little bit more about the pistol itself. Alright guys, so I decided to go with a different caliber than the Taurus TCP. Uh, now, one of the reasons I picked this gun is because it's a 45 ACP. Now, just for a comparison size, here is the 380 ACP. And here is 
a 9 millimeter. Okay. As you can see, the 9 millimeter is a lot larger than the 380. And in comparison, here is the 45 ACP. <laughs> um, basically, here's the 45, here's the 9 millimeter, here's the 380. Enough about the ammunition. Let's talk about the actual firearm itself. Now, you can see there is some wear and tear from the previous owner, especially right here on the slide. You can tell that it was shot pretty frequently. Let me eject the magazine real quick, and I'll show you a little bit more. Right here on the barrel, you can also tell that it was fired quite a bit. However, I would not let something like that be a deterrent with certain companies. So with Springfield, with Glock, with Smith & Wesson, with Sig Sauer, you know, companies with that sort of a reputation, I really would not even put any... Um, I wouldn't hesitate, even if I did see signs of wear. Again, right here on the sights, which by the way, I really like this three dot, how am I doing this? There we go, this three dot sight that comes with this pistol is very good. On the Taurus, it came with three little black uh, sights that were really non-existent. Another reason that I really like this pistol is that it has a trigger safety. You see this little lever right here? Basically, I mean, it's not really much of a safety. However, if you were to pull this trigger back, and it is unloaded again, without depressing that safety, let me see if I can do it. Yeah, it's not going to fire. So this has to be depressed. But you see it's not even firing right now. And that is because it has another safety right here. This is the beaver tail safety right here. A lot of people you know, they call it different things. There's a lot of names for it. Basically, this has to be depressed. And this also has to be depressed in order, in order for the pistol to actually fire. There you go. So it makes it a lot easier to, um, to carry, of course, a lot more safe, in my opinion, as well. Now, another reason that I like this pistol in comparison to the Taurus TCP is that the, the texturing on the grip is so much more aggressive. This really gets into your palm. If your hands were wet, honestly, this wouldn't even be an issue because it just really locks it in there. All right, so I had to adjust the camera. So a really cool thing about this firearm, in addition to all of the stuff that I already mentioned, is the fact that it takes down so easily. It's very easy to disassemble. Basically, you eject the magazine, and then you pull back the slide and lock it into position. Make sure that there's nothing in there. See, the feed ramp is empty, no magazine, and there's nothing in there. Then this lever right here actually goes in an upward position. Then you put the slide back, Point the, um, excuse me, the barrel in a safe direction, pull the trigger, and it slides right off. Then you take out your spring right here, your guide rod, whoops, and your barrel. And that's it. It's all done. And reassembly is pretty much the same thing, however, in reverse. Sorry guys, I'm actually doing this through a camera lens. I'm not even looking right now, but I think I'm doing pretty good considering, right? <laughs> and, uh, oops, here we go. Now with the Taurus TCP, I believe I mentioned in my video that it was a real pain in the butt to take apart. And then you just safety check, by the way. Function check. Does it work? Check the trigger reset. Yeah, it's perfect. So... Just like that, it is reassembled. And yeah, it's pretty much very easy. I actually just finished cleaning it and lubricating it. As you can see right here is some lubrication. Oh, and another, by the way, I forgot to mention, another safety on this firearm, or at least the safety mechanism, is the fact that if this is loaded, the chamber is loaded, there is a loaded chamber indicator right here that will pop up and it's very tactile. You can feel it. You can see it pretty good. Um, just another great, you know, safety measure just in case. And it makes me feel a little bit, you know, better knowing that it's there. Now with the Taurus TCP, there was a pin, a little circu circular pin that I would actually need a flathead screwdriver to go in there and pry it out, pull it out. Then I pull off the slide, pull the trigger. It was a mess. So the simplicity of disassembly and reassembly on this Springfield XDS 45 
is very much appreciated. The sights are just day and night. Eons and eons above the... Oh, I'm trying to show you. There we go. Yes, the sight picture is much more clear and defined than the Taurus TCP was. And yeah, it's just overall a great weapon with a much larger projectile. Here's the 380 again. The 380, the 9mm, and the 45 ACP. Now, the reason I went for 45 ACP as opposed to another 9mm and a smaller weapon is because the 45 ACP pretty much is a proven round. It was uh, used by the military for many, 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 many years in many conflicts and many wars, including um, World War II and, of course, Vietnam. It was used predominantly in the 1911 pistols. And also, if you guys have seen the Thompson machine guns, here you go, buddy. The 45 ACP, that's what it was loaded with. That wraps up the video. Goodbye, Taurus TCP, and hello, Springfield XDS. I'm very happy to have traded in, got the new pistol. I'm gonna try to record some range footage when I get the chance to go to the range. Maybe I'll take my friends, maybe I'll take my girlfriend, I don't know. But whenever I go, I will upload a video for it. So look out for that. I do have some more impromptu reviews coming, including an impromptu review on Game Night, which just came out with Jason Bateman, Kyle Chandler from Bloodline. And, well, I'll save it for the review. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to tune in to the other videos that I mentioned. My name is Max, and I do have a cooking video coming up, by the way. Anyways, enough self-promotion. My name is Max. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you do all four, that's good karma for you, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.